Hey folks, it's Sal here again with another video. Um, what, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be replacing my uh, hard drive in my MacBook Pro to an SSD drive. Now this isn't a how-to video because um, there are plenty of videos on YouTube which are in fantastic, like actual how-to videos, which are just produced really well, step-by-step, screw-by-screw um, on replacing the drive. But I do want to show you the hardware that I'm using because not only am I replacing my hard drive with an SSD, which is nothing big, I'm going to be removing the um, CD drive out of my MacBook Pro and replacing it with a hard drive to, to add more storage to it. Now, some of you, and I used to be in the camp where, you know, I would never give up my CD-ROM uh, because I would always use it, but you know what? I've been... Um, I have not used the CD-ROM in my laptop for two years, uh, exactly two years. So I thought, you know what, let's pick up an SSD drive, let's speed up the performance of this laptop and um, add storage to it. So what I'm going to be using um, in order to place the SSD drive into the CD-ROM bay is a, uh, is a bracket. And this one here is called the Data Doubler from uh, OWC, Other World Computing. Okay, and um, I ordered it online. I think it was about thirty-five dollars plus shipping. So, you know, it's not too bad. It's just a, it's just a bracket, really. So you got your manual, and the manual is is just thick with uh, all the different um, models uh, instructions on all the different models you can replace. So we got MacBook Pro uh, from two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine, all the way to oh wow, Mac. MacBook 13 inch polycarbonate, polycarbonate uh, installation. What year is that? Anyways, all the 11, 2011, 2012. I'm not sure if the 2013 is in here. I really haven't gone through it, but my model's in here, and this is 2011 model, that is. And, uh, so, so the bracket will suit. You have to just check the website though. The bracket will suit multiple different um, different uh, models of the uh, MacBook. So here's the data doubler. It's just a bracket. You plug in your hard drive, or sorry, your solid state drive, right in there, and uh, it comes with the screws. It comes with the tools as well. As we see here, we got the tools as well as uh, the little pick thing there to uh, for the ribbon cables. And there should be a little bag of screws that I dropped, <laughs> but there's also the screws to uh, remount everything back and putting it in the uh, mounting it back into the laptop. So there you have it. Uh, this is what I'm going to be using. So at the end of this, I'm just going to do a quick performance test. Um, but if you're interested um, in doing it, this has got really good reviews. Um, everyone loves it. That's the reason why I picked this one up first. Um, if, yeah, maybe you think thirty-five dollars is a lot, but I guess it, I don't know. It goes into machining this this piece of hardware. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be uh, using it now and uh, replacing it and uh, placing it into my uh, laptop. And we're gonna see how much faster. Also, we're gonna see how much faster my uh, new uh, solid-state drive is gonna be compared to the uh, old hard drive. All right, folks. So we will um, see you in a bit. Hey, folks. Uh, this is just. Uh, <laughs> process of removing the CD-ROM bay, and I have, there you go, still very neat and clean, uh, as you can see here. Batteries disconnected for uh, those of you that are watching my uh, technique there, but uh, we've uh, taken out the um, the hard drive, the uh, CD-ROM bay, uh, bay, and uh, we're going to be putting in the data doubler, so uh, stay tuned for that update. Okay, folks, so there's the data doubler with the hard drive uh, all mounted in there. It came with the screws to uh, to um, uh, set it in the uh, bracket. Cables where you attach the little uh, screw bracket there. And that's what it looks like before uh, we um, insert it in back into the, into the uh, laptop. Well, that's what it looks like. Very neat, clean, and uh, let's reinstall this puppy. Okay, here's another update. There is the data doubler installed. Uh, all the cables reconnected. We forgot one more, the battery. And we're just going to there, snap that in. And um, 
And yeah, 16 gigs of RAM. There's the data doubler, neat, in place. Everything's screwed back in. No wires out of place. Uh, the, uh, the instructions in the book. There's also a video online, uh, step by step. Um, I just followed them right now, perfectly. SSD is in place there, and it's uh, snug, not moving at all. So we're gonna put this thing together. We're gonna load up the Mavericks and uh, see how quick this goes. Okay, folks, so once you do change your um, your hard drives out, it's important to uh, enable trim, which makes the drive last longer and I believe perform better. Now, when you go to About This Mac, More Info, and System Report, select SATA, SATA Express. When you scroll down to the bottom, your trim support most likely will say no but here we have it as yes because I did enable it. I'm gonna show you where you can go to enable it. It's very simple. Uh, this website actually has an application that you can switch on different, um, different features, um, but I just entered everything from the terminal, com uh, the, the terminal uh, command prompt. So when you go to Chameleon, well, I'll put the link in the, um, in the description of this video and you click on FAQs, Right here, how to enable trim on OS X 10.9 and 10.8. Um, just copy and code into terminal. So first, you're gonna back up what your the file you're patching. The next is to patch the file to enable trim support for any SSD. Um, then there's a, there's some more code, but that's for 10.7.5 to 8. Dot, sorry, 10.8.2. So you would probably skip this if you're on the latest version of uh, OS X, and then. To finalize the patch, you're going to enter the last command there, uh, reboot the system, and then verify that um, you have trim enabled. A and that's it. It's very simple. Sorry, I I'm unable to run through it. I, I already uh, co uh, made, um, copied the file and patched it, and I don't really want to do it again um, to the to the uh, to the file. And and that's it. And um, it's running a bit faster too. So uh, all the applications are running faster, boot up time is running faster, and um, after this we're going to do um, side to side comparison, uh, hard drive booting up compared to SSD booting up. Alright, thanks for watching folks, ciao for now, see you in another next video.